Velasquez versus yep. uh, Fabrizio over And we just seen the standoff before we started doing our recordings tonight. And we, we got a little hyped up, okay? Awesome, man. But, awesome. But that being said, as we look at the tough situation, we always harken back to some of the tough um, coaches that were supposed to go at it and never did. You know, kind of like recently with um, fucking the Axe Murder versus fucking Chael Sonnen, which they're both maybe out of the fucking UFC, dude, due to their fucking improprieties with fucking TRT. Well, One not showing up to a fucking testing, and the other getting tested dirty and just giving up and quitting. Well, you know what's you funny, know? man? You know what's funny? It's dumb you say that. Chael is banned. Mm-hmm. Of course Chael's banned. Chael already yeah. retired, idiot. Yeah. Nice move, fucking yeah. Cal- California yeah. State Athletic. And you should have done nice that before he job. got, before he, as soon as he passed, uh, tested dirty, ban him. But you waited for him to get his propaganda so he could leave on a, a good note. He already had a fucking kid, and he already retired, and then you say he's you, banned. You haven't seen You're the last of You're a fucking retard. You're a fucking retard. You haven't seen the last of Chels. Chels' ego will not allow him. He'll be back in about a year spouting off. This retirement is just bullshit. You're, you're, you're talking about a retirement from a guy that probably couldn't retire just because of his fucking ego. Wouldn't allow him to. But um, that being said, we're going to come up to another guy whose ego must be. Um, um, and I, we do want to get into what we were talking about. And I wanted to segue into the tough pioneers. Let's do that right now. The tough pioneers. I'm going to say this right now. Okay. We got these coaches that cannot fucking finish. And you're looking, you know, half the time you're looking at this fucking tough shit. You're waiting for the end of it so you can see the coaches fight. You don't see fucking... You're on the fucking shelf forever. You don't see uh, Vanderlei go against fucking Chael Sonnen. You, the most you see a fight is a, a scripted fight with him tackling Chael Sonnen and Chael Sonnen. It, 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 that was even questionable. But before that, you get uh, fighters like a Shane Carwin who cannot continue. Um, there's been others. And Brian, uh, yeah, and Brian and, and I just thought, hey, instead of having all this fucking drama, where you, let's, let's keep it the, the focus on the fucking fighters that are coming up and who are vying for the fucking the belt and a, and a chance to go in the UFC and say, um, hey, let's have some fucking um, pioneers. Let's have some legends coach these guys. Like a, um, let's say, okay, let's go over to Japan and have a, a Sakurabu versus a Gracie. Or we can keep it over here in the fucking United States and have a, a Coleman versus a Fry. Or a Severin. You know? Yeah, yeah. How about a fucking, uh, you know, which guys that are still relevant when it comes to uh, commentating? Um, yeah. Uh, Matt Hughes, which he fights with his trainer, um, uh, Militich. Oh, Matt yeah, Militich, Militich does all kinds of fucking comedy still. That would actually be really cool. Yeah. And there's a lot of stories to be had. Yeah. All the way back to what Dan was saying. You could have a half an episode there's... of fucking behind the scenes, old pride stuff that you're talking about. Even behind you the, it, you know. I'll tell you what, man. You give it seven or eight minutes, and I've already thrown this in Dana. I haven't heard anything back yet because he probably doesn't want to. Probably doesn't want to give anybody credit no. or anything. But you know, you guys know I've already thrown this idea in fucking Dana. So if he comes up with it, you know where it fucking came with. You know, you know where it came up at. But it's like, yeah, you give it maybe seven minutes per episode, which we know generally when it comes to TV, it's like, you know. Whatever, thirty-eight minutes mm-hmm. to twenty-two minutes commercials. Yeah, you're getting you know, commercials you're you're, the you're getting screwed. You know, uh, let's go ahead and round it off. Forty minutes to twenty minutes. Commercials. How about those little in-between commercials? Remember back in the day? Oh, is fucking Kim, is fucking Kimbo coming back next week? Yeah. Tune in. Yeah. Fucking five weeks in a row for <laughs> nothing. Uh, the stage has been set for Kimbo to come back. It's just so proud to see you. And Kim never no, came back. Never. Never. That's how bad Tough Ten was. So why why are we following, you know, all the way up to Tough? You know, I will give I will give some respects. There's a lot of good fighters coming. 
It's, yeah, it's, it's that, not to the show. It's it, to the fighters. Yeah, it's to the they fighters. They came on this man. show, you know, um, uh, 16, uh, whatever, season 16, season 17, and then this season, to, uh, this this time around, not not with BJ Penn and uh, Edgar. Uh, Edgar. That was a fucking horror show. But Is that fight even going to happen, dude? Edgar and fucking... Uh, Who knows? Who the fuck knows, man? It's, it's still, still three months setting out. setting a precedent of fucking... Uh, it's still, uh, it's still... coaches not being able to fight each other. It's probably still two months out. But it just, you know, it goes to say that I'm giving a lot of respect to the fighters that are coming on that show because they look fucking great. But it's like, you know, we've talked about this shit way back when, you know. And I'm not saying this about the new guys because it's a whole different story, man. You want to talk about 2014 fighters mm-hmm. compared to 2004 fighters? You're getting a whole different game because mm-hmm. these guys are learning a whole different ball of wax mm-hmm. than what they were learning ten years ago. I'm sorry, man. Ten years ago, you're learning from a whole different group of guys. So, yeah. you know, and some of them older guys might want to learn from some of these newer guys and say, "Hey, man, fucking what you're doing is mm-hmm. fucking top notch. We yeah. need to bring that to some of these other newer fighters." And, and, so, and just whole, the same as the old guys that are coming in, the pioneers coming in. Given some fucking tips to the younger guys that they've never heard before. Right. Like old Mark school Coleman. shit. Like fucking Mark Holman. Damn, I never thought of that. Like, yeah. hey man, this fucking guy yeah. kicked the shit out of me, but I did what I had to do yeah. to pull through it and take him down and fucking finish him or, or whatever. Or you know we could we could be talking you know? about fucking moves That's that right. they teach that have been lost in history. You know, like. Way back when, they used to use them, and they'd be like, dude, you, I used to use this move back then. I'd be like, I'm, the younger guy's like, I've never heard of this before. This, right. This could be a possibility, dude. This could be about fucking moves being lost in, in, in history and lore, dude. Lost in translation. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. You're like, yeah. you get a fucking guy like Hoist Gracie or a Boss Rutten or, or – um, a Don Fry, and they're giving you some tidbits that you were like, man, I never thought of it that way, or, you know, it's like, any kind of fucking information you can get from a champion is a good information, you know? Yeah, so, fucking, uh, 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 like we said, Pioneer. Yeah. You know, any information you can get from a Pioneer, man, is fucking, uh, is, is the real deal. But, one thing we gotta give to these, a lot of these newer guys is they're, they're, they're surpassing some of these guys. But you know what? There's still a lot of people that really respect mm-hmm. and really want to still see some of these guys that have retired. You know, like a, like a Matt Hughes. Like if you had a Matt Hughes and a a, a Henzo Gracie mm-hmm. coaching, you know, opposite. Henzo Gracie's not fighting anymore. Mm-hmm. Uh, Matt, Matt Hughes is not fighting yep. anymore. That would be great. You know, these guys can go over stories and talk about mm-hmm. shit, talk about whatnot. You know, which you know. Matt yeah, Hughes beat, beat it's, his brother yeah. twice crazy, but whatever, man. I mean, and, and it could start a rivalry there, you know. You know, and, and there's going to be really, a rivalry, yeah. Right. They should start out the season saying, you know what, there is no rivals, rivalries here. You're not going to fucking fight, you know, or whatever. Or we're not going to set it up as you're going to fight, but maybe you will, depending on how yeah. the rivalry goes. But, but, but if, if they Mark don't Coleman, have anything out of it, like a Mark Coleman, the guys that you know that aren't going to fight, right. you're going to get some badass stories. You're going to get yeah. some... Shit yeah. that people that are new to the sport can look back to the old history of the sport and say, man, that, that's fucking bad. You know, he gave an old locker room thing or an old pride where he had to do this and that. Yeah, he had to fight them stories before He had to fight show. three guys. And yeah, we've had ba- Paul Botuello on. Paul Botuello, the headhunter, coming on telling us about uh, shit, shit back in the fucking locker, locker room, room and man. shit, dude. All kinds of, it was you know, great, like, man. holy fuck, man. You know, it's like, man, we would have never got that. You know, you come into an area of I'm not going to diss them in there, but you don't see an area of Wani fucking asking about shit that happened in the past. Uh, he wants to know contemporary up-to-the-day shit. We're talking about the basically the roots of um, what you're watching right now. And if you're young and you're into it and you love a Bones Jones or a, or a, a Pettis, you know, it's worth the while to go back and hear some of the old greats spin the yarn about what the fuck happened back in the day and how everything progressed from them fighting whoever and all the rest of the guys to where it is right now. Because without them, this would be nothing right now. So yeah. it's like 
this we we're passionate about. It. We've been talking about it for the last three weeks. Like, man, this, we have been so disappointed in the tough that we don't even fucking watch it anymore, dude. It's hard to and, watch. And, it. and, then, and it's, it's like hard to watch it. bring guys back instead of having an annual Hall of Fame bullshit that you put a Brock Lesnar with a almost losing record in because of fame. When you should have an honorary fucking the best of the best or the the champions, you know. Even better yet, dude. Sorry, like, even no. better yet. Fucking Kane Velasquez has to be a coach now. And and Fabricio Verdum has to be a coach. No, bullshit, guys. No, that's a fucking pay per view. You don't hold these guys up, hijack their careers for two fucking months, three months, yep. or whatever, to make your little fucking jag off show. No, you have these guys fucking fight just like everybody else. And you fucking have the show with fucking top-notch fucking pioneer style guys. Mm-hmm. Bring in fucking bring in fucking uh, Coleman. Coleman's been on the show already. Yes, last, last season he was on the show. Bring in Coleman to be one of the guys. He's a major coaches, support man. to these guys. Stop Win or it. lose. Stop hijacking fighters' careers and fucking it up. Why does Cain Velasquez have to be a coach? Mm-hmm. Why do you got to fuck with his career? Yeah. Let him fucking fight, and, and don't hijack his fucking career for your bullshit. Like I you never you thought, you know what? I, I did, Fabricio Verdum has to have his dude, career hijacked. After he won, bullshit, I never man. thought of that. After fucking Fabricio won against fucking Travis, I was like, I never thought that I would see a fucking Kane, Velasquez, and, uh, and Verdum tough. I, I only yeah. thought it would just be a fight. Yeah, a fight announced. Day, man. That's it. Mexico City, let's go. Yeah. That's fine. Here we go. Let's fucking take over Mexico because Cain Velasquez is Mexican. Yeah. I don't mind that, but we don't need a fucking drama. Exactly. It's not a racist issue. No. We're not saying that. It's It's happened time and time before. If you want to get the Mexican fans, that's fantastic. Have the fucking fight in Mexico. Where it came from. That's fantastic, man. Yeah. For Be Silver Doom, we'll not have a problem with that. We already know that. Yeah. He Why don't do you give have a, a goddamn he show there? A title shot. Have the goddamn show yeah. there, but don't involve I fucking Cain Velasquez. I think fucking... Leave the fights alone, dickhead. I think for Be Silver Doom and fucking... Um, uh, Ridiculous. Uh, Cain Velasquez are more uncomfortable having to go through this drama shit than they would... Just preparing for each fucking other. Bullshit, man. You know, you're, 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 bullshit. you're put into a drama soap opera situation where you could just nix all that out and just prepare for the heavyweight motherfucking championship of the world. Not um, bitch. Not and days of our lives. Dipshit over here Leave having it. a fight that you have to pick and concern yourself about those two's feelings. Fuck them! I, I'm 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 grateful that they're having a chance, but you're talking about the heavyweight championship of the world. We're not talking about General Hospital or fucking Days of Their Lives. <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> Stole by thunder. Yeah. Damn it. No, that's exactly what it is, man. You don't need to bring in soap offers, motherfucker. Just it's the fucking fight game, dickhead. It's not all about your fucking hot little TV show. Fuck off with your show. It's either. Tough pioneers or fucking dual tough wave. legends or tough fucking icons, however you want to fucking. Tough worthers. I don't care. I don't give a shit where you go with it. I'm fucking tired of the yeah. tough show. The tough show sucks. The tough show is about as good as a Bellator pay-per-view, okay? Yeah. It sucks. So put in fucking legendary yeah. people as yeah. coaches you're gonna and get people, leave these guys' careers alone. You're, you're gonna get, Why you're, are you hijacking careers? Yeah, you could Fuck get, off! You could, get, you, could get, you could get fucking fans from the way back when that have stopped watching your bullshit to come back and watch it. I'm having a hard time fucking doing this anymore, man. No, it, it, no. I'm shut this one down. I'm fucking... I'm, no, I, I, I know. To pick at this I point. know. I know. You want to fucking... We want to fucking... Rattle some cages, number. but... I want to fucking jack some shit up. Yeah. But, you know, we want to get on another topic or we want to get the fuck out of here, man. Yeah. What do you no, think, let's man? go one more thing and then we're out. Okay. Josh Barnett calling out JDS. Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, my God. I just wanted to hit it, man. I, I had to hit it just because I thought no, it was I, a I hear you, dude. It's fuck, situation. Yeah, you're right. You're, you're fucking right. Okay, dude, you just got your ass wrecked by a fucking a guy, a, a guy that really... Seriously, it was on a lesser scale. Have you fucked up? up, 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 up.